Okay, hey folks, um, today it is just George and I playing. Both of us are fairly experienced with the system, me for obvious reasons. George has been playing a lot of Tabletop Simulator. So what we're going to do today is a little bit different than our other videos, where we've done a lot of explanation so that if you're new to the game, you can jump in. Rather, we're just going to play as if we were a couple of dudes around a table um, playing the game without a lot of explanation of you know, specifics and all that kind of thing. And that should give you a pretty good idea as to how long, say, a turn takes or, um, you know, or maybe a, a game will last. Okay? So, George and I are both ready to go, I believe. Uh, George, are you ready to go? I should probably ask. Yep. Okay, great. All right. Uh, first player is me. All right. I guess I should have thought about where I wanted to enter. Um, we're going to come in right here, up north. We're going to enter on the secret dens. And what I have found is a treasure. Very cool. And we're going to play open game. Um, I found the Tome of the Black Arts. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use it right away. All right. That was my first action. Second action, move to there. Third action, move to there. And I can't move in there. I could go see what's over here. As long as, as, long as I could. Yeah, you know what? We are just going to, we're going to be an exploration <laughs> happening this game. Um, and so moving into this area, I found a treasure site. And the treasure site I found is the Trove in... Ooh. Oh, that was a very, very good turn for me. Okay, cool. Uh, George, you are next. Right, I'm next and I'm trying to find the civilization location to go to. So I'm a dwarf, I have one extra on... I can reroll one range attack and I have an extra... I don't lose the action in the caves, okay, so caves is going to be my hangout. Yeah, so let's see, what's that, what's the closest here? You know, we could, Probably. Team up, we could team up on that tile if you wanted and play a little bit cooperatively to start, I'm totally down for that. Yeah, I don't mind teaming up, although I, first thing I need to do is go to the keep and have a look at what happens. I have 20 gold, I need to put them into good use. So I don't want to let them just stand in my purse. So my first uh, action is I enter in these goods here. And then uh, one, two, three. And I think that's it. I'm going, uh, I'm going, I can leave that out of the way here. It has been found already, the treasure. So I'm going to sneak. Let's play it safe on distance. Okay. I'm first player. I'm going to work with work with that yet. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, so stench is the symbol and then planes, which are not in play in this game. So, um, no, we're, bo we're both in a claw space, uh, scratch space. So nothing comes. Cool. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. We're on turn two now. All right. And you are okay. first. First, okay, fair enough. So, first move is in uh, in the caves here. So, let me grab a caves wilderness token. Yeah, that's actually a mountain. Yeah. Uh, just you know, because it's got it's the red oh. and it's got the mountain symbol. Yeah, you. Yeah, quite misleading. I need to make a mental note. Just look at the color of the tile, not specific clearing. Um, it's the color or this symbol that tells you what pack it's from. So, okay, cool. Yes. Okay, let's see what we found. Another site. Oh, lucky me. All right. right. I'm going to put this in the tile, which is the way you mark that it's already been visited. So. Okay, yeah, you, you have a point. So I'm pulling a site. Let's see what I found. I found the altar, right, on clearing yeah, number I, I three. Choice. That's funny. It's, it's literally one space away. Brilliant. And what's the guardian for that guy? That's caves. It's in the caves, which is fantastic. And the guardian for the altar is the demon. Oh, that fiery pit guy. 
Excellent. I'm already having fun just by, you know, doing nothing. Just move to one clear, and that's. So the next action for me is going to be um, action number two is going to be a search for that uh, hidden path. Okay. And let me do that. And you see that this is actually connected, right? There's a. There's a. Yes. Okay. Okay. Trying to make sure. I just want. I just going to have you know alternatives. I'm with you. Because I'm not going to decide this round. I'm going to end up in the civilization, which was my initial plan. Yep. I don't want to get distracted by greed, which is the number one reason for me dying <laughs> in, right. in magic realm. So yeah. Okay. And the second one is going to be another search. I'm not lucky today, but it doesn't matter. And the last action, number four, because I'm a dwarf, is I enter the keep yep. and I draw two civilization tokens. Yep. See for merchants and let me flip those. Not that one, that one. So it's the scholar and the astrologer. Good. I'll fill, the, I'll fill the scholar and the astrologers. Oh. Yeah, and just <clears throat> place the tokens on the keep so, so just, we can keep them for reference. So the scholar has four treasures, two items, and four missions, and the astrologer's three treasures, five items, and three missions. FYI. Nice. Okay, that's my turn done. Okay. Essentially. Well, I'm gonna. I'm going to be bold. By the way, I'm playing, just so you know, George, I'm playing as a halfling. And so I'm going to forego sneaking entirely this game and just rely on my advantage. My, I, I, It's not as good as sneaking, but I do have that reroll advantage. So we'll, we're going to see how that plays out. And, and then I'm going to rely on my conjuring to maybe get me out of trouble. Okay, so I am uh, I'm moving one. I'm going to search for the trove. Uh, we're going to search a third. Uh, our third action will be search, and I should be moving those cubes over. I guess I'm just kind of, you know, this is this. You move these cubes as you take your turn. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to search one more time. My fourth and final search. Come on, baby. Yes. Okay. Great. So I found the trove, which earns me uh, an LP and five fame as the finder of the of the uh, great worms code. and that was my final action you can roll the summoning dice summoning dice right here's where it starts getting interesting right, we have planes and we have orcs mm, nothing okay no action Okay, let's dump that stuff in. Okay, let's go to turn three. I'm trying to expedite things. I'm going uh, to pull, but well, it's your turn. It's my turn. Well, I th we're at the treasure. Tr oh, let's fill that trove, by the way, because I did find it. Um, trove set up. There we go. All right. I am going to loot the trove. Of course. Oh, that's a good roll. Or is that cocked? What's your definition? Is that cocked? Do I move it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, ta we're taking it. People can complain about the designer cheating on his own game if they want. Yeah, that's fine. That's allowed, I think. Yeah, you know what. Okay, so the jewel shield. Now, uh, this is kind of interesting. I, I, I love this. Uh, like, I'm just not strong enough to carry it. Right, it's too heavy for me. So I'd be, a, it'd protect me, but I'd be a sitting duck. So for me, that's going to be money unless I get lucky with some treasure or something. Yep. All right, uh, I'm going to loot again. Maybe I'll roll some more one. Oh wait, was that a? I didn't even look. Was that a? Yeah, was that a red one? Uh, no, it wasn't. Unfortunately. Okay. Cool. Uh, the fourth Number four. Number four. All right. One. This is the only thing I don't like about Tabletop Simulator for this game is there's this amazing kind of tactile pleasure of counting down four treasures in the pile. 
that you just don't get. Okay. Uh, Gauntlets of Brawn. That's actually a... Uh... Good counts. What's that? That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, isn't it? You can... Yep. So that means that I don't have to play this Might Cube and my Dagger. If I can get a better weapon, I, 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 that's good. Yeah, uh, it's worth noting, actually, and I'm going to do an explanation here, George. If I Now I could put the Bejeweled Shield. This counts as one yes. Might Cube, and then I would just play this, and I just throw it on the shield to represent that I'm playing two Might Cubes so, so that I can use this shield and not be a, a sitting duck. Um, I'm still going to... I think you should, it. yes. Well, I think... Oh, this... I'm going to keep it out, and the main reason is is I don't want to have to play two Might Cubes because I'm probably going to be casting spells more so than anything mm, okay. else. That's my, that's my Fair favorite. enough. Okay, and you know what? In hindsight, I realize I'm not an elf. I really should be enchanting that tile because I can't even cast my most powerful spell. Five. I don't think there's... Oh, yeah, there is five. That's a good treasure site. Two, three, four, five. Okay, Potion of Energy, which if I drink it, I automatically get um, a, a brown cube in one of my maneuver spaces, which could be pretty valuable. Okay, my fourth. Three brown cube, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was two action. I should really be marking this so I keep track of all this. I moved, or I, sorry, I, I've, uh, let's loot, loot. Loot again. Fourth treasure, which is this one. Okay, now I'm going to put these back because I think I'm probably. Okay. Oh, look at that, George. Great. That's, That's great. That is exactly what I needed. So I'm yeah, gonna, two blues. I'm going to equip that and get a free blue cube, and suddenly I'm I'm in business again. Which means, let me think about this. Gosh, I feel like I've been very lucky. I'm, you know what? We're just doing, we're all about looting this turn. We're just going to run with it. Okay. How many loots are you going to do? Uh, I've four already. Four, right? I, yeah. I, or did I, was that, see, I should have been moving my cubes, George. One, two. Oh, no, I've done four. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. It's, uh, I'm yeah. Good. Sorry about that. I'm trying to cheat. And and, uh, also, I haven't had my round yet. Yep. And uh, just remember to give yourself one LP and five fame for the yes. uh, treasure you just uncovered there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think, you, so, okay, we need to roll the summoning dice, right? Because didn't you move? I haven't had my turn yet. Okay. You were going first. Okay. Oh, right. That's right. Go for it. So you are essentially... When you're looting, it usually happens to you. You forget everything. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> and and you know, it's a good so, note, George, too, that, you know, given that we're not in the same location, we're not impacting each other, you might be interested in seeing my list, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with you taking your turn and, and, and looking at what yes. the goods are. Especially, we're playing open, so maybe we do it, but if we were playing secretly, you'd just kind of go at your turn, right? Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm, I'm a very slow player, so I like to take things slow, being a solo player most of my life. So the first action is a trade action for me, and I'm going to have a look at uh, the astrologer's uh, All right. here. I wish there was a way to expand this whole thing. There is if you do spread, but it doesn't quite do it perfectly. Let's see, I haven't done it. Yeah, okay. No, that's that's not half as bad. Okay, right. So let's see. Oh no, it's come on, please. Oh, okay, let's sort the treasures, it out. The treasures up here. Yeah, still grabbing everything it can grab. Oh, it's right. doing these physics things where it lifts the. Yeah. All right. Turn the gold. All right. Turn the gold. So we have them separated out by. Okay, go ahead. Fire away. Okay. First of all, the easiest part is always look at the quests. They deliver the package of the next civilization location of alphabetical order, which means keep goes to mine. Which is... Yeah, it's not far away. Okay, I'll get that one. 
Yep. I'll grab the packets and deliver it to the man, to my fellow dwarves. There, there, essentially. There, hey, there is something thematic about you being an enemy of the dwarves. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to be that. <laughs> I don't want to go be killing, I mean, disguising as a dwarf. Yeah. And what? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not yet ready to become an outlaw. Okay. But haven't made that mental leap yet. Yeah, let's leave this. So let me think about the rest of the stuff. So I have, I have, I have leathers, an armor, and I have plenty gold. Spear, that's a great weapon, isn't it? Here I have five, five gold here. And I have, I'm not very good at hugging though. I would say I'm very bad at it. And the astrologer respects wisdom. What's your wisdom well, attribute? I have one, yeah, I think. You're not, you're not a haggler. Um, I'm a dwarf, I'm a, of a symbol of alertness, I like that one. That means I always am, I will be always alert. You would certainly you'd get a free alert action each turn, yeah. Which means with my um, three might cubes and four browns, I'd rather have that. So that's all of that stuff is nice to have. I like the spear, I like the symbol of alertness. Iron Helm is good, but I just have some armor. Uh, but I'm not, I'm crap at handling, so it means that I'll have to pay 15 for the symbol and yeah, I need to get some more cash or some handling skills one way or the other. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Still uh, not decided about that. Well, I'll, I'll have a go. Why not? I mean, I may, I may get lucky. So I will uh, hug you for the symbol of alertness. Okay. So it's a, it's uh, a see what happens. happens. 15. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. That's my trade action anyway. Let me have a go at it. See what happens. Oh, me? lucky. 10. That's 10. me. I'm, I'm buying that immediately. Not pushing my leg, so I'm spending 10 gold, getting my symbol of alertness that goes in my miscellaneous, reducing my gold by uh, 10. It doesn't work for some reason. And you click on it, yeah, okay. It's it's buggy for me. Interesting. Maybe I'll see if you're promoted or not in a little bit here. I think I am, but anyway, 10. 10 gold is fine. Okay, so that's my trade action, and uh, just leave that stuff out for now. I'm going to have another trade action. Yep. And look at the other merchant. Okay. Which is the. This is guy, the scholar. Yep. And let's try to find out what's happening here. Okay, spell scrolls. Unscroll a dagger of bite, fantastic weapon. I like that. I do too. I like that dagger a lot. Symbol of magic. This is enchantment stuff. Great sword. The stuff. Okay. And I have a foot and dale to the next civilization in alphabetical order. That's a no brainer. So I'm grabbing the foot and dale immediately. Yeah. Because these are two. Things going to the same place. I love the I love the, the I love the thematic nature of the fact that you're delivering food and, and alcohol and probably some yes. kind of a gift to the dwarves. Of course, as a, as a fellow dwarf, so I couldn't God, just go in there and kill them all. That wouldn't be fair. Would that it? would be bad. Okay. All right, do you want me to fill those uh, spell scrolls? For that? Uh, no, okay. not right now. Okay, cool. I mean. I'm not the mage type. If you go want to go there and trade with, so let's see. I have I have a dilemma. No, if we were playing a secret game, you could announce, "Hey, I found a spell scroller <clears throat> book." You reveal the card, and then you draw those spells. But there is no requirement to do so. 
And you probably wouldn't want me knowing, ooh, there's some juicy spells I could possibly learn over there. So, good play. Yeah, definitely. Right, so a lot of stuff happening here. So I have 10 gold. And since I've already paid for one trade action, I'm, I might as well butter for it. Yep. So I will butter for the Dagger of Bite. Um, and the scholar respects intelligence, so you're better at, at negotiating with him. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, I've spent the... I've paid my trade action. I'd rather get advantage of it. Okay. No more trading. That's enough. So he won't trade with you at all for the rest of the day, the rest of the turn. Correct. So let's wrap all that stuff up. And uh, put it there, and then I uh, have had two trade actions so far. And uh, let's try a third one. First, I mean, I'm in a civilization location, nothing better to do than trade. Who knows? I've got on my missions, got on my symbol. I still have 10, and I will battle for that. Uh... Yeah, George, just one quick note one mission, because you took one mission from the astrologer, one was added. So you might as well take a look at what it is. Um, just in case it's... Oh, you made a new one. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I forgot. Thank you. I just forgot about that. The replenish one, you mean. Yeah. It's this one, Alpiner. That's great. Although I cannot... I cannot... Uh, I already have two undertaken, so I cannot... And it's, worth, that, but... and, and it's worth noting, George, we're, I'm going to be changing this one to just... Vi if you don't have to go to the specific clearing, it's just visit the tile, in which you'll mark in the journal. Um, in the game, so uh, mm. you'll just put a little check mark that says, "Yep, I visited the mountains, or you know, or the you know the barriers and etc." As you go, okay, because it could be that you said, "I've already been to the you know to these mountain tiles. Let me tell you all about it." And you grab that treasure and then or that mission and literally fulfill it using a trade action right then. Okay, so Spear, uh, let me ask a question here. So it's still. Thrown weapons are essentially one use after you throw me, you just lose them. There's no way to recover them. Yeah, so simplicity of rules over thematic. Um, mm -hmm. It could be a house rule or, or, or a, an optional rule to recover it, but the way okay. it is designed, if you throw it, it's just gone. Fair enough. Uh, so let's see. Let me. Uh, so that spear is very nice. I like it. It has um, put three. I my cubes on that, so it's three plus sharpness. Yep. If I dual wield it, and uh, it's much better than my dagger. And so I have a dilemma here. I cannot. I have ten gold. I cannot barter for the for the helm. So I'd rather, and I cannot buy it. And I have to sell my dagger first. If I am to succeed in getting that, because six times two is twelve. I cannot immediately buy it. I will have to sell something first and then successfully barter. That's a nice dilemma because you cannot do the same two things simultaneously, can you? That is correct. You would have to sell it first before you attempt to buy. Great. Mm. Great yeah. What do I need the, the dagger for? To be honest, I'm an archer. Why would I need the dagger? It's more trustworthy than the bow. It's much more... Uh, but it's smaller. Okay, yeah, I'll go for it. I'm going to sell my dagger. Okay. I'm still on the same uh, trade action. Yep. My dagger gets put in the sort of this wares. Good Get two gold, you. now I have 12. Good luck to you. I'm going to batter once for the spear, and then probably I will try it another one unless I'm too vulgar and it closes the door on me. Three and one. Okay, I don't get it. That uh, ends the trade action. Yep. I have to spend another trade action, which is my last one. Yep. So I can haggle again, but I'm not keeping any rolls. I have to roll both of them again, don't I? That is correct. Each haggle attempt is its own thing. Not sitting on haggling. Nah. Okay, fair enough. All right. That's it. That's life. I'm done. I'll roll the no trades. Minutes. Now, the summon dice is for you. Ooh, I 
get myself a monster. Where, where am I? I mm, you get your guardian. Yeah. So I get I get the great worm. The great worm is a land dragon, normally in caves. And so I'm just going to orient this towards me. Um, speed of two. And so first off, we're going to attempt to hide. Let's just start with that. Right, and my halfling ability is I can reroll one die. So as long as I don't roll, roll two reds, I got a chance. Okay, so we're gonna reroll this one. Let's see if. Nope, I'm not hitting. Right. Yeah, that's about that's about right, isn't it, George? Okay. So Famous I'm, last words. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm gonna be sneaking out. So I'm flipped over <laughs> to this side, um, and so I'm gonna zoom in on this guy for a moment. So. He kills me if he hits me, or he fireballs and kills me if he hits me. But I am blocked. And has yeah. And movement he, of two. Sorry. Has a maneuver value of two. You yep. you cannot evade, can you? Well, and and right, and and so I uh, conjure is not fast, so I'm stuck. I'm fighting this guy. Um, so let's see what we do here. Even an air sword has to hit him three times to kill him. Yikes! Yeah, this could be uh, this could be short. Yes, could be short. Could be short. Could be. Sounds fun. And I didn't. It's worth noting. I didn't. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do this. Those are my. And I didn't alert, so I'm playing five spells. And yes. here's, here's my logic, George. You can tell me if I'm a fool, but. I'm going to try and cast tentacles in the, and place all four on him in the hopes that he slows him down after one round so that I can run away next round. Okay? All right, so uh, I'm going to drag the... That'd be... You know, and, and by the way, no player elimination. If I die, I'm getting right back in the game with another character. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, which will be fun. I, I, I always chuckle. When, I think I've died in every one of these play these play uh, that I've that I've published. You know, maybe this is my this is my chance right here to redeem myself. Okay, so this is the way I'm playing it. The two is to is to dodge his attack. I, that's just mandatory. Um, where it gets into trouble is if this die roll shows up as red, then his fireball hits and is going to hit me automatically, and I'm probably toast. Okay. Okay. So That's good. yeah, good. It didn't. He didn't flip. Okay. So his attack speed is two. Mine's one. His is gonna go first. Okay. This is the other part. So I'm dead if we roll two hits here. If I roll two hits here, I should have you roll it for me. <laughs> okay. Cool. Famous last words. Famous last words. So here's what we do. So a couple of quick things, right? First off, congratulations, I have now died in every playthrough. Um, second thing is, let's take this token, my little target token. We're gonna put that in the tile. That is now something that, that people can search for, another hero, and can loot. So we take, my, my gold, is, uh, my gold is, it stays, so there's 15 gold there, I'll grab that in a second. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put all these treasures together. Including the one that I right here. Okay, oops. Uh, we're gonna flip that. We're gonna shuffle those, right? We're gonna put yep. this off to the side, right? So that just represents that that's my carcass is in that space, and people can go and, and loot it. You don't get any any fame or anything for finding that particular guy. Like, you know, it's when you find a treasure site, you get some things. You find something dead carcass, you don't become famous for that, right? So, all right, these are returned up here. All right, and uh, yeah, my score, so I lose five fame, right? I lose half my fame, and then I convert 10 to one into legend points. So my final score, and we just, we also put this up here. So George, we have to beat two as the the score because that's what I that's what I scored. So let me put my gold. Uh, where is it? Right here. So there's, there's. I should probably put it with my carcass.
focus. Okay. So there's 15 gold. If you locate my body, you get 15 gold. And uh, my final score, my final, why is that not coming out? Huh. For some reason it's not, maybe we got a bug here in the mod, the, the, uh, I can't grab a, that's fine. I can't grab a legend point out of there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, me neither. That's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll fix that. We obviously have a bug in the mod, um, which is fine. But just know that I have I have two LPs as my final score. Okay. Okay. I'm going to grab a new character quickly and, uh, and continue on. That was, uh, that was entertaining. Okay. Uh, let me grab my character so that you can select, you know, and there's, there's no overlap. So why don't you go ahead and advance the turn to marker and take your turn while I select. Okay, fair do. enough. I'm assuming that I'm playing first. Yeah, why don't you just go ahead and play first while I grab my character. My okay, character. fair enough. So the dwarf will do one move in the caves. Second move will be in the altar. Third move is going to be in the woods. He doesn't lose one action because he's a dwarf. So I'm entering the woods, the timberlands. I'm pulling one woods timberlands token from the bag, which results in let's see what we found here: a secret cache. All right. So that means I have. On number so, five. So that one, when you find it, you just get the treasures. You don't have to loot it, and and so that's a that's a pretty cool one. Um, okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, by the way, I am alert because I'm equipping. So essentially, I'm going to copy that and paste it here, and just leave it there as a reminder that I have this. Symbol of alertness. I'm always alert. So next action. And I have done three movements so far. And the last one is because, as I've said, I'm a very slow player. Works I'm out. going well, to. I'm see. doing my thing over here, and which which means that people aren't seeing exactly in the recording aren't seeing exactly what you're doing. But um, doesn't matter. Yeah, I just move three three spaces to the woods found the secret cache and sn snuck okay. the woods. Okay, and I just need to reset. I got 15 gold, I got a staff. So I'm gonna go through the items, grab my staff, and then reshuffle them. And is it my turn? Yes, okay. yes it is. All right. So I am a Dwarven Druid. So I went that route because I'm very maneuverable. My plan is, George, I'm going to call monsters that I don't like, and I'm going to summon elementals to fight the ones I do. Um, so just to show how this works, I'm going to come right back in here. One, two, three, and I'm going four. I'm going all the way through, and the logic being how fast are giant spiders? Uh, giant spiders are a three on their front face, so I can, oh no wait, do I have, I don't have four cubes, so I can't run away from that guy, so I'm going to change that, Enough. yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to sneak as my fourth and final action, yeah, be careful, yeah, you know, my, remember how I was talking about, I'm going to roll, I have my halfling ability, <laughs> Okay, so that's my turn. You can go ahead and roll the dice. Okay, let's roll the uh, summoning dice. And right, swamps and uh, what's that? Scratch something. I think I'm in a scratch. Sure enough, goblin. Yes, you are. And because it has those dice. two icons, it's the sum. How many goblins are coming? Four to goblins. George, Up here. George, Four goblins. What are you doing to me? Where are the where are my goblins? 
four goblins. Where are they? One, two. Right. And they have a king as well. Nice. Three, four. four goblins. Good thing you snuck, to be honest. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what I got facing me. So the goblin king shows up. The main reason that character exists is a unique. It's a unique monster. Is there's a quest about killing off the goblin king, right? So. Um, something tells me that I'm not really built to fight four monsters. It's worth noting these goblin peltists don't actually attack unless they flip, they're just really hard to hit. So, with that in mind, I am going to take a, a hide, I'm going to hide, take that hide reaction. And, uh, wish I'd had that roll last turn. So, um, great. Okay, so these guys, I'll stack these. These are all in that clearing with me. And I'm going to put me on top. Okay, so I'm hidden, so I'll be able to get out of dodge without any problem. Okay. All right, George, you're trying to kill me off again. Yes, that's the plan. Win by default? How, how rude. Okay. Uh, I mean, turn five. based on the plan that you're... Let's say that again. You're going to be looting. My plan is that I'm, I'm going to let you loot get killed and then I'm gonna back, come back and grab the spoils. Given my track record, that's probably not a bad idea. Okay, cool. It's just have my turn and let's... Yeah. Though I do want to point out... You can do it. Okay, so uh, the druid is actually first. Okay, I'll take a moment and take your turn, please. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna move one to get out of those goblins. I'm going to take a sneak action. How many treasures are there in that trove left? There's four treasures there, and there's six tre well six items on my carcass. Okay, I'm gonna move to that location, and then uh, I have to hide. I have snuck, so I am hidden. So that's two move actions. I have one left. I'm gonna search for my own carcass. I found my own carcass. So great. I can now loot my dead body. Sounds funny to say. I don't get any legend points or anything for that, so I should probably reset that. Okay. Whoops. George, your turn. I think you automatically get uh, the gold, though. Oh, I do automatically get the gold. Thank you for that. Yes. I'm going to put this back, and I'm going to use the, 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 uh, this. So, cool. Well, there's a lot of treasure there for you. Yeah, I just, I liked the mix of, of treasures that I got. Now, it's worth noting, if I find an epic treasure, I don't earn anything for it. It's my halfling conjurer that was known for finding that treasure. That's why he's got two legend points. Yep. You still have uh, treasures on the worms side. All right. The yeah. troll. Your turn. Four treasures in a trove, a bunch of treasures the clearing, and that's my turn. So my first move is I'm going to move to the secret cache and uh, attempt I will do attempt to find it twice. Yep. And then the last one is going to be I'm gonna move in the keep. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. I'm bumping the gun here. So first move is a mo first one is a move. I put a fifth pin cube here yep. uh, on the alert space because I have permanent alerts, uh, lest I forget. So let me roll my first set's attempt, which is a success. Nicely done. Sir. Brilliant. So you get 20 gold automatically. I get 20 gold. I'm just That's what I need. Kind of thing. Um, you get 20 gold and you get this deep treasure uh, just right away. And you also remember, grab your epic... Uh, your uh, legend points and fame for finding that spot. That thing is stuck. It doesn't work. I wonder why that's not working. What what, what did you have before? Sorry. I had uh, 10. 12, sorry. 12, because I've sold my dagger. Right. But I failed my hand. All right, now you're a wealthy man. Um, yeah, exactly. That's the treasure that. right here. What do, oh, I get the treasures as well. Okay, let's see what they are. It's just one. Yeah, just one, but it's a deep treasure. Brilliant. 
I'm reloading what I'm becoming the loot machine slowly. See, take it slow. Become a loot machine. Yeah. And now I'm a very wealthy dwarf, and that was my second action essentially. So there's nothing there for me. So I better take it out of there. And I will go to the mine, which is my third move. I'll grab those tokens um, for you. They're just outside the treasure cart or the terrain setup cart. Yes. Uh, right here. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Let me put them in the mine. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm not finding any masters. Oh, God, what I happened here? I, I didn't, I, for, I forgot to lock the board. Are you not able to Yeah, I think them? something wrong with that. Okay, yeah, you grab them because I cannot okay. let you fix the things. All right. I should have locked these. I'll lock these tiles while we're playing here. So, uh, empty. Empty. Uh, empty. And empty. Okay, not Zoe. Brilliant. No problem. So I have still one action, which is the last one. Yep. Right. If I'm not mistaken. So two moves, and I will do one trade action. And with that uh, one trade action, I will uh, fulfill my first quest yes. because I can now uh, I can fulfill one quest per trade action. So I'm delivering the packets. I'm getting seven gold yep. here, and I get uh, to roll one die. You get to roll one die. Um, yep, very well done, sir. So that goes to thirty-nine. Hopefully, you will do the honors, and uh, let me roll one mission die here. I'll just move it a little bit before I roll it. And I get whatever it says. I'm rolling one die because there is only one such icon on my That's right. uh, class card. So I just roll one die and get five more gold. You keep so, getting gold, I'm going to stop giving it to you since you can't change the counter. Instead exactly. Of, of Lot of, that's good. So that's, that's my turn for now. Yep. So more riches coming my way next Next you know, day. Now that you're starting to get some some money, you know we should probably make sure make sure you pay attention to what these um, what's on these sieve cards for how you can get additional. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, well, theoretically, you randomize them, but they're always face up. Okay, fair enough. That's yeah. fine. Um, so they're randomized because there's two different sides. I noticed that you do have the ability if you do a trade action to get rid of that symbol of alertness. To become a dwarf spot, the dwarf sponsor. Just F FYI, that's nice. mm, treasure that grants an extra action. No, I don't like it too much to give it up for just one LP. To be honest. All right, sounds good. Uh, my my dwarven druid. Something's kind of funny about that combination. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, by the way. Yeah, this is, I am too. All right, mountains. I am not in mountains. You are in a civilization tile, which unless. There's some treasures coming, by the way, in uh, in the expansion. If you pledged for the expansion, that can make it where monsters can come to uh, civilization tiles. Just FYI. Okay, so uh, now nice. I'm, I'm in a scratch, so no monsters come. So uh, we are on to turn six with uh, the archer being first. All right, so that's me. Another trade action for me to start the day. In a lucrative manner. Okay. Let's put that cube there. And I fulfill my second quest, which is food and nail. Another seven gold for me. And another die. Yep. So this is how we dwarfs roll. And two fame. So let's see if that works. No, it doesn't. No, it, yeah, it works. It says two. Okay, fair enough. So I have 51 gold and two fame total. Yep. And there is no one, no one there for me to trade anymore. Right, I found the secret cache. I have everything it had to offer. Do you, should we, uh, we uh, set the secret we cache? Do I get one LP and five fame for that or not? You do. Uh, you, you absolutely get we one LP and five fame. Yes. I need to add one LP. Let's see if that works for me. Okay, and five more fame. So now I am at seven fame. 
Alan P7 fame for the secret cars. It has been looted clean. No one else is going to find it, so probably you could just turn it face down or whatever, just leave it like that. And what was my plan? I'm sure I had a plan. Just forgot what it was. Okay, fair enough. I still have three uh, more actions to do the day. So it's going to be two moves here. I'm going back. Okay. And uh, I'm sneaking, of course. All right. So that's, that's me. All right. And then uh, the druid. Well, clearly the first thing we're going to do is sneak. Um, and then that dragon that's in my clearing with me tries to find me, block me. And I'm okay. So I'm silent. Which means I can continue. I, I, now that I, I've found my dead body, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yep. So what? I, whoop, I'm going to loot my own dead body. This feels very dark suddenly. It's taking a dark turn. The well, it's an alter ego of yours, so it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just a dead halfling. It's not... Yeah, I'm gonna, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it this way. I already know what treasures are in there. Grant that I don't know the order, but this just speeds it up a little bit so I don't have to move all this stuff. So I found the, uh, the shield. Now this one I can use except for the fact that I have my staff equipped. So I'm gonna throw that over there. For my third action, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, my goal is I'm trying to I'm trying to find that really good treasure, second treasure. I'm trying to find there was one item which I already forgot because I'm me uh, that was really good for me. So I found yeah yay I the one with the hands giving you an extra cube or something. That's exactly right. I found a dagger. So it's worth noting that I can I could and I am going to do this. I can yes, you can do this right now. Now, what I can't do is also equip the bejeweled Seal. shield. Um, I could, yeah. I, I'd have to do an alert action. So, um, and then my final thing, I'm gonna, oops, that's a loot. Uh, I'm gonna loot as well. Uh, one, number four. Number four, uh, which is literally the last one. I'm getting down to where I'm not getting anything else or where it'll be harder to find stuff. Okay. Potion of energy. I'm gonna put that. Yeah. In. That one could be useful, perhaps. Uh, probably not. I, I went with a dwarf, which means I have a ton of boxes for dodging and whatnot, and not. You know, well, that actually would be really useful now. That I think about it. Okay, cool. Here's something I remembered. Yes. Remember when the dragon ate your life as a halfling? Yep. Had two maneuver boxes in your. Actor, but if you have drunk the potion, you could have used another one to run away. No, because have... this one, so just to be clear, this fills a box, but it doesn't give me a free box. Oh, yeah, it fills one. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, my bad. I thought about that. Believe me, I would have yeah. used it if I could have. Um, okay, cool. Um, so those were my four actions. You can go ahead and roll the, roll the dice. Let's see what happens. Are hidden, so you don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, although I don't want it clogging up for sure. Yeah, um, I woods. am in the woods. Thanks. And so a giant in spider the woods. shows up as well. And this is where it gets, oops, uh, where it gets more interesting because the giant spider has a movement of three, and I I do have four Q four boxes, right? But I only have. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Uh, uh, you were playing first. Uh, no, I was the one. No, playing. you were playing first. So my the spider comes my way first, the first one. Oh, that okay. you don't have to. I just take another one for me. Yeah, yeah. One goes to each spot. Are you? You're in a. Are you? Where are you? Are you oh yeah, you are. You get one as well. Yep. Nice. Each one of us gets a spider. Yeah, the worst, the bad news is I can't run away from that spider. That's, well, I guess I can if I drink my potion. Yeah. So this is where it, the peculiarities or the, what I think is the weakness of the game really shows. Okay, cool. Uh, you have to hide, right? You're already hidden. I have to hide. By, I have to react. Yeah. And I have snuck. Because I'm prudent. But, yeah, I'm, I'm hidden. Okay, fair enough. All right. And I'm already hidden, so I can just ignore that spider for the moment. 
and I want to see the spider first. Let me yeah, slide it properly. Right, maneuver of three, that's bad. I can attack first, but I have to hit it. A maneuver of three. And it does one damage. <clears throat> does one damage and so it will just damage my armor unless it flips where it will destroy my armor. But when it flips it has slow speed. Okay, so for the sake of the video, because there are people watching and we have a campaign, there's a campaign going on, I'm going to take... I dragged him down and... there. I, so you're, because you're ambushing in essence, which is, by the way, that's really what the archer is about. <clears throat> and I'm already hidden, so I'm going to demonstrate the ambush, how it works. Which means I can attack, and then after attacking, regardless of the result, I can attempt to hide again. Yes. And being an archer, though, uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, so, let's see how to play this. So, this uh, essentially the spider does not see me, so I don't need to pay to play any maneuvers. Yep. So, I can go for the maximum uh, speed possible, which is uh, I have three cubes, I cannot um, exceed the spider's maneuver, so I cannot auto hit it. So, best chance for me is uh, to be equal to it, to increase my chances. So, I will go with uh, three cubes for maximum attack speed. I don't need any maneuver. And I'm going to play two cubes for my short bow. Yep. Go for maximum potential. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah, there's no reason and, to play a sixth cube. You're alert, but there's no reason to play it. Yes. Literally, you can't fight you. Okay, so right. uh, go ahead. Roll for that bad boy. See what happens. First, let's let's see if that uh, thing uh, bear with me. I'll just do it out of my. Uh, where is it? Is it the line? Has it line? Okay, let me roll it here. See what happens. Okay. It stays as it is, and then, then it has a speed of one, attack speed of one. My speed is. Yeah, it's not attacking because it doesn't know you're there yet. You're still hidden, so. So it's not. Yeah. Even, we ignore its attack this round. Oh, because I'm ambushing, yes, correct. So he cannot attack me. Yep. Good. So I'm attacking anyway, so now I have to hit it. Yep. That's the hard part, though. Yeah, three on three is, is, is tough. Three out of three. Let's see what happens. I mean, my bow is fast, but yeah, okay. Great. So That's a nice one. Yep. And, so uh, now I have to roll the dice because this is a missile weapon, mm -hmm. as it is denoted by this. Nice. I don't remember how you do these arrows. Yeah, this. Yeah, the ranged attack symbol. So, and uh, however, I'm also an archer, that means that I can reroll one ranged attack die, which is brilliant. Let me roll the dice first. See what comes out of it. I have a plus one and minus one. I'm going to reroll the minus so one before, as an archer. Before you do, before you do. Yeah. Uh, okay. But before you do, just so you know, that would have still killed it. Because you're doing one, two cubes, plus a sharpness, minus one for that die roll, which is two, which kills the giant spider. So you didn't have yeah. to re-roll in this case. Those uh, archers are spider killers, which thematically feels great to me. Good. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Congratulations. That's the spider gone. Bitty, bitty spider, no more. And it is eight frame for me. So that's, I'm going to 15. So I'm moving up in the world. Right. And nice. Worth noting, worth noting um, I would you normally, you put the fame on the dead characters. Well, remember, this is two legend points and five fame. So <clears throat> the fame is the tiebreaker, right? So right now, you are tied with my halfling conjurer if you were to retire in a civilization location. Because you convert two of those things into Lel LPs and you'd have five remainder. Excellent. Okay, cool. Congratulations. I, I This is where if we're playing PvP, I might just go try to kill you. Yeah, um, <laughs> kidding, no, I'm kidding. Okay, good. Well done. Um, I don't remember if I advanced a turn marker or not. I don't think so. Yes, we did. We did. Okay, so it's turn number eight. Sorry, it turns Yeah, that's no, number eight. Okay, cool. Why don't you grab a token, see whose turn it is. Let's see. I think it's your turn. 
Well, we're going to sleep. We're going to we're going to live dangerously. Um I do have I do have the ability to drink that potion to get away from the spider if I need to. So if I fail this then Okay, good. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm going to keep three treasures there, four treasures. I'm actually going to uh I'm going to search for the trove. Oh yes, because you haven't found it. You are another character now. Yeah, I'm going to be different. Okay, I'm Didn't just going to take a second action to search. And I found it. Don't earn any points, but with my final action, I'm going to loot the trove. I'm going to go back and forth between the two until I get what I can out of them. Uh, five, there's only four treasures in the trove, so I am happy with nothing. Okay. Okay. My turn. Right, so what am I? Let's track. Okay, first move is going, I'm going to move to the altar. Yep. That's my first action. I haven't reset my cubes, bad one. The second action is going to be a search, trying to locate the site. See what happens. Yep, that's me, one LP and five more fame. Uh, trying to. I don't know. It's not working. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Thank we, you. We might have a bad load. That's fine. Well, if if it gets to twenty. Be... Okay. For the, so I have um, one move, one search. I still have two actions. I'm going to loot once. And I have this garb of the thief, which means I can reroll. So I'm I'm a looting machine. Up from a narrow. And there are six treasures. It's charging my scene as well, so let's see what happens here. Starting to like that stuff. One and four. I'm going to reroll them four, of course. See what happens. Two. So I'll grab that second one. I'll, uh, I'll grab it for you since... Yes, please. Please do it because, you know, it's kind of laggy. Yeah, my What's the point? It's laggy too, which is probably why we're having some challenges. Yeah, all right. More fame and LPs coming my way. That'd be a good First of all. Yeah. yeah, so we've gone. I'm starting, things are starting to look. Can you please increase my fame by five? Thank you. And this is something where you can use gray magic for it and uh, it does things for you. It, yeah, you can use a gray, a gray cube. cube. Plus. A gray cube becomes a brown cube and box. Yeah, so let's put that in the bag. Deep treasure. I think there's something in the mind about that, isn't it? It is. Any deep treasure becomes a dwarf digger, one LP. So that's a good one, isn't it? Well, and any any yeah. epic treasure as well. So if you can loot another deep treasure that's maybe not as valuable, you literally have three points just sitting there at the mine for you. Hmm. So. What, what, so I can... I can use this treasure I just found either as an epic or, or a deep. Which is the most rare? The epics are rarer than the deeps. Who knows? Are, yeah, so, so the logic works out. About 60% of the deep treasures are epic, and about 25, 20% mm. of the regular treasures. The deeps though, are much, much harder to come by, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're harder to loot, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I still have one action remaining, and being prudent, I will uh, sneak. And that's me. All right. Done. All right, and I was first. Let's roll these summon dice. I'd love to see a demon fiery chasm here. That would make me happy. See what happens. Did I say that out loud? No demon. No. So a mountain tile, which is where you are, though. Giants, though. And uh, I'm super nine dragon. So you're getting. Just to be clear, you're getting all you're getting, monsters. You're getting how much? What's uh, what's the monster on your tile? Yeah, I'm getting the giants. It's Carion. Now let's be clear. You're getting three giants and one juvenile dragon. Brilliant. That makes me happy. I mean, I feel terrible. I know. I, feel terrible. I know. Uh, one giants. That's great stuff. Giants. Three giants. I'm I'm dropping them right outside the monster area. So there you go. Yes. Yes. That's, uh, giants. Oops. Slow giants. 
Yeah, the good thing is you that. can run away from giants pretty easily. I'll, I'll drag it down here by your player board so you can compare things. These are these are the monsters that you got. First of all, I need uh, to hide. Yep, I think you're going to want What's happening in your tile? You didn't get anything. Nope. I'm in a woods tile and I have uh, trees. You're already hidden, anyway. But even so, yeah, I'm already hidden, so I can just ignore the monsters that are already there. So giants, let's have a look here. So it's uh, four. So let me take that guy out to be able to zoom on him. Okay, they have damage of three, so they can kill me right away. The juvenile dragon has three as well. Attack of one. All of these guys have to hit me first if I play two maneuvers. Okay, fair enough. So, and let's did, did be bold. You to hide yet, George? No, I haven't. I haven't hit yet. I will do that now. Yeah. Good one. Just thinking about tracking blood. So let me just try to hide first. First things first. And I can ignore that one because I snuck. Yep. So I'm hidden. So now I can ambush. You can. Which is exactly what I am going to do. Who are you going to target? Uh, let me think about it. I have, I can target anyone. I can hit all of them, essentially. Yep. And I can auto hit them all. Dragon, unless there is someone. Let's see what happens if they flip over. That is going to be the criterion because I haven't rolled for flipping them yet. So let's see. If this guy flips, it has a maneuver of two. Actually, he's got a maneuver Sorry, of three. Sorry, I cannot hit him if he flips. He's actually a three if he flips. Okay, these guys are easy prey. So these are a guaranteed hit. So I'll first go with a... There's no difference because everyone hits me. So if that thing... Okay, fair enough. I will just target the uh, first giant here. First giant in order, okay? And I will bring my black die and start rolling one by one. Well, before you do, see if, before you do, set yeah. your cues. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. I will, uh, I'm ambushing, so I will use an attack of two. Or, it's, or three, which is, well, uh, for two I auto hit. So that's the only thing I need to, hit, to use here. And the two red cubes on my bow, and I'm good, I think. You don't want to do a third? You might as well do a third, just in case. I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter, but just, you got it. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but it, okay. It doesn't matter because it's zero if you flip. So my target is... Yeah. You're taking a leisurely no. shot at a giant. I love it. Okay, cool. Right, so, order. Oh, yes, there is the order which matters, isn't it? No, I'm still going first because, well, no one attacks me because I'm hidden. Sorry, scratch that. Yep. So I've put, I've created four that... dice, so you can just roll four at once. Thank you very much. Let's roll all of, all of them. Good plan. Push, yeah, yeah, there you go. And if you push R multiple times, it will actually re repetitiously roll them, just so you know. I know. I don't, I never do that though in TTS. <laughs> That's I, I like one bad people. I like really randomized roll. Okay, cool. So nothing flips. Nothing flips, and now it's time for yeah, my them. missile roll. Ignore those three because they can't hit you, or they they don't even see you. So let's do the attack. Let's do the attack. That's what does what is this uh, blank here? No that change. Means, that means that means uh, no change. Okay, so it is. Uh, that's the worst result, though, isn't it? That's like a zero. That's like a zero. Correct. So. I need to reroll to re it. Look at, look no, at I kill him. Yeah, well, you hit him, yep. and then look at your damage, and he, uh, giants are unarmored. Unarmored, so he's dead. He's dead, and you earn yourself... Take more damage. fame. You could do the honors, please. Yeah. Now, um, the next thing is lying in me attempting to hide. Yep. What happens? Your sneak doesn't matter. Correct. And I am unhidden. So technically now, what we do at that point is we flip over your counter on the mat to show that you're blocked because and not hidden. So, fair enough. Cool. Okay, I'm blocked. Now, 
Let me think. Three enemies. That's one too many. <laughs> so I can run away. You can. And evade. Yeah. Which is what I am going to do. So I will play three cubes for my maneuver. Yeah. And I'm running away. Alright. Simple as that. Which, uh, which direction do you want to run? Which path do you want to run down? This is a very good question. And, uh, yeah, this direction. Let me run through the caves here, okay. just below the bridge. All right. Just put myself under the bridge in case it rains, so I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you live in the UK as I do, then have to be mindful of rain okay. all the time cool. so and that's what remains in the altar here and that was a bit oh my god oh, no, again that thing uh, yeah it means it's weird stuff selects all of them uh, i've done that wrong yeah like that you can grab a you can grab a no that's that's not how it was how was it it wasn't it and it was the other way No, you know what it was? Actually, sorry, didn't we? I think we might have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, You're right. It was this way. Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, oh, let, me, and the, let me lock that. So, tile. number three. Yeah. Let me lock that tile. I always forget to do that in Tabletop Simulator. Okay, and then you're, yeah, halfway in between. Okay, cool. Um, and the first player in turn nine is you. What would you like to do? That's a very that was a very nice turn by the way. Great fun. Yeah, that was that was that. I'm jealous. Very 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 thematic. So the dwarf essentially stuck an arrow into the giant's eye and then disappeared. Yeah. Inside the cave. That's right. So he was in the dark because you know dwarfs are used to caves. They have very good night sight. So he and this this guy never knew what hit him. So the first move is. And I love how this game is never fails to deliver what its predecessor delivered as well, which is this is extremely thematic. I mean, you can see it's like being in a movie or something. You can see it happening in front of your eyes. So the second, the, hey George, one of the reasons that I've put very little story around the design is I want you to come up with your own story. I don't want to say. Yeah. You know, you're in this particular world, and here's the the lore of this. I want you to to play it and make it your own. And so, you know, and that's something that Magic Realm delivered for me when I was a ten year old kid. And exactly, uh, you know, if there's some ten year old kid somewhere who lets their imagination run wild about what actually happened back in the mm -hmm. day with those with the spider and those giants, you know, mission accomplished, right? It's well, and then I know that people are watching the video, but this is a completely subjective opinion on my side. But I always say that for a board game, the first thing you have to worry about is gameplay and good design, and the greatest thing. And I don't care about the lore, the art, the minis, and all of that stuff dissipates after a few plays. Minis, you know, originally I actually paid a sculptor about a thousand dollars to design some minis for this game. And I got these amazing minis back. And then I realized it doesn't work. Because, you know, you're playing a, a dwarf archer. I didn't have a dwarf archer mini. And I couldn't possibly have created enough of them. You would be picking a mini that's a thematic representation yeah. of you, maybe. But it just didn't work. And especially when you started throwing artwork on these on these um, cards up here for the various characters. It just, it just couldn't, it just didn't work. And so we moved to change. It doesn't. And to be honest, although I love Magic Realm, if this game had minis, I would have thought twice, maybe thrice before backing, because in my book, minis are a distraction and I don't like the whole. Yeah. Because I'm paying. Uh, in I can like a good mini. I threw, I threw 435 of them into my game, Hellenica. Um, and uh, I think that's the right number. I might be off there, yeah. but it's it's it, they work for that game because you place cubes, 
I need to buy it again just for my legacy because. Okay, cool. Uh, so I pause. I'm rant. I'm I'm uh, monologuing here like a super villain. So you've done conduction. Two actions. One, two moves. Yep. And then it's gonna be a trade. I need to remind myself. I think I'm allowed to look at the. You are. Not the trove. The medicines. I rem I'm supposed something I needed to get which I have now forgotten. Yeah, we, there's a spear the there. That was the key thing. Yeah, the spear. That was I was after. Okay, so my third action is gonna be a trade for um, the astrologer, and you don't have to rem um, just, just don't take it out. It's a spear. For, for again, for the you already game. know about it. Yeah, Six gonna, gold. I'm gonna do it just for the for the. Uh... So I have how much money I have? Fifty one. Nothing costs 18. Right. 18. And there are more quests. Are. Oh, nice. Yeah. What does, it, what does that one say? Let's have a look here. Let's. Alpiner. Visit clearing one of three unique mountain tiles. Complete the mission on the keep. Right. We know what the keep is. I need three mountain tiles. One is here. And the others are very far away, so that's not going to happen. And uh, let's see here. Dark worshiper, loot a treasure from the catacombs and a treasure from the altar. I have the altar, I don't have the catacombs. Complete the mission on the mine, good one. Dwarven foe. <clears throat> I noticed I have an illegal... Can you explain to me this uh, part of the Dwarven foe atrocity that says then roll a two or less on a loot roll at the mine to draw a treasure from the deep treasure pile. So I need to roll, I have one loot attempt, I need to roll two or less. Uh, for those of you watching this video later, you didn't see what I just did. Okay, go ahead, George, sorry. You saw nothing. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm happy if I didn't see anything because I don't have to worry about it. Had an illegal My question was: I didn't have an illegal tile placement, and I didn't just fix it. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, fair enough. Uh, about the dwarven fall atrocity, it says the three dwarf gods must be dead. Then roll a two or less on the loot roll. So that's a single loot attempt, which you need to roll a two or less. You can loot over and over again. So think of it thematically as you're literally mm. raiding the mine. You have to kill the guards. And then you can take loot action after loot action until you roll a two or less, right? Which is difficult. And then you you get you draw a deep treasure, and then you go to any other civilization. Like yeah, the, the, the very nice. So it's there. not a one off one. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Can, it's not a one off. I can keep looting. That uh, correct? Yeah. It's not. It's not okay. a one off. Okay. Fair enough. So three. Do, let's see. Now let me have a look at the. Dwarfs here to see how hefty they are because I'm considering going in there and but there are three of them, so I have to survive them somehow. They have two plus, which means sharpness three plus. Yeah, they are tough guys. Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing for you there that's a really lucrative one is they're armored and it's hard. Now you're with your re roll. You know, I mm. could go well. But... How about, can I ambush them? Can I hide and sneak, etc.? Yeah, you you absolutely can, and you can run away. It might take you a few turns, right? But it's not a bad atrocity. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what. I don't think I will have too much time to finish that today. It's, I have about half an hour remaining. Yeah. But for the sake of it, I'll just grab it, because it's as good as a quest as any. And why not? Although I will need uh, to, to try hard to kill them, maybe one at a time. Right. Okay, and now uh, the next is the hug action. I have a spear and I have... I still have my bow. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. Yeah. Spear looked good initially, but I don't think it looks good anymore. Mm. Or not. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. Was there any armor in the other one? The other guy, can you have uh, a look, a, please? There was, an, there was an iron helm here that you could get, right? Remember? Yes. Yes, okay. And uh, since I'm trading with this guy, let me try to get the iron helm. Yeah. We'll do a haggle attempt. Oh, did I just throw that in the wrong place? 
And still two or less, I think, isn't it? I don't know. I have one or less. Okay, let's see. Let's try. Almost. Right. Almost. Oh, yeah. Almost, but not there yet. Right. Okay. Okay, I will buy it. 24. So you, you, you were able to... You were able to... Oh, you did. No, I didn't. You you, so, you you didn't haggle or you did haggle? I haggled, so I cannot buy it. Correct. Or can I? Oh, no, I can't. No, once you if you fail a haggle attempt, he basically says. Okay. I lose the I lose the action. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it makes sense. I keep I keep forgetting that. Make sure that it's clear in the rules because it's easy to you know yeah. forget. And what's the next guy? Is what's the other merchant? Hold on. Does he have any armor in there? I don't remember. You, you can't Let me have a look. take a trade action, so... Yeah, we'll take another one if it has something good. Let me... Oh, I cannot look at it. Okay, I'll have another one because I've already looked, so I'm taking a second action. Okay. So you, that guy. you didn't... So you didn't buy the... the Iron Helm, correct? But, but I failed the Huggy, so... Oh, right. Okay, yep. So he's done. He's done with you. Okay. So next trade action is uh, with... Uh, the other merchant okay. and I found a nice one here which I'm going to take the supplies okay. That's a good one. so it has four missions in total uh, yeah he has four missions so okay so you need to, read, to draw another one because I just picked one of them yep I will do that and put it on there uh, as soon as you yeah, bear with me a moment because I'm trying, I'm struggling with my windows here, with my laptop. So let me grab that one here. I need to close the search. Okay, I did that. All right. So what I what I like here again thematically is you know I'm over here trying to trying to loot big treasures. You're taking this approach of leveraging the benefits of civilization to earn bonus, uh, bonus fame and gold, and uh, yeah. I, I, I dig it in a big way. Okay. Oh, there is a chainmail here. I just saw that. There is. Mm, okay, I'm going to gather medicine though now. Let me see if it has anything else I need to trade for because I just picked up a mission which is free. So, symbol of magic. Dagger of bites, spell scroll, black follower. Okay, no more missions. Nothing interesting. I need to hug you for something though. Might as well. No harm, right? Yeah, I mean, I might as well ha hug you for something and. Uh, yeah, let's hug you for this nice dagger of bite. There's a dagger of bite there. I'm not pulling that out. It costs five gold. I'm gonna hug you and see what happens. No, easy money. I fail. No, I failed. Just sat the door in my face. So, yeah, I've lost track of how many, that's why you have to use the cubes all the time. Yeah. You've done so I've two, made two you've moves. Done two trade actions, one with each. So you got two left, as I recall. I started my day in there. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. No, I, I ran away. One, two, and two trades, that's me. That's you, that's your turn. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Good. Uh, we are again going to sneak to start my day um, and roll a dice. And I do hide and I'm going to loot the trove. I get the fourth treasure in the trove, which is right here. For the interest, you know, I, I recognize you wouldn't do this in a real game because you'd get to see what the other treasures are, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it this way for speed. Um, and I found the Digger's Rune, which means I, while I'm in a cave clearing, I can re-roll something that's fine. Uh, I'm going to loot the Trove again. Three is the highest I can roll. Five's not going to get the job done. If only I had the, the your, your uh, what are they? Your uh, gar uh, garb of the thief. You can, down and, you, can, you can kill me and get it if you want. Yeah, Gage of the Thief. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that's going to happen, my friend. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll again. I okay, so I snuck and did three loots and ended up with one treasure out of the whole deal. So cool. Okay, um, and nothing nothing that valuable. That was the end. Okay, you can roll. You want to roll the summoning dice? You were first player. Yes. Four kids, nothing. Nothing comes. Okay. Well, and let's call this turn. Uh, what time is it? Six thirty. Where I am. Turn ten. Are we playing for an hour and a half? Uh, we could we could play a little bit long. I forget. I have a call at some point, but I don't remember when it is. To be honest, let me look. You can go. Go okay. ahead. Take your turn. Right, so this is number 10. Let's take, let's take my turn because I think I have 24, 25 more minutes. Okay, so what's happening here? I've traded everything I needed, so I have a new quest that says, bear with me a moment, deliver the supplies to the next civilization location in alphabetical order. And that's fine. Good one. So I'm doing essentially like Federal Express doing the runs between the two tiles and fetching stuff all the time, which is great. Right. I like that stuff. For the lighter characters, especially, it's a cool way to earn money uh, without looting and selling treasure or you know that type of thing. So, are you? Are you? Uh, what are you doing? Sorry, I put the treasure. I am going to arm myself. So I'm going to pay twenty-four. Okay. Old which you will have to reduce from my total and get me the iron. All right, I'll grab it for you here. There you go, sir. I'm going to equip it yep. immediately. Which you can do for free when you when you gain a new piece of equipment. And that was 24, so, you said? 24, which is 51 minus 24 is uh, 27, I think. Yep. Many. Yep. 27, so... I'm going, I'm converting all this gold to armor and then I'm going to earn more money. So the f that was my, the first move was a trade action. Let's make sure we are here. Um, trade action. The second one is a move. The third one is a sneak. So I'm moving once in the cave. I'm sneaking. And then my last move is in the altar. And I have to roll immediately. Yep. See if they block me. Let me use my own dice here. And I'm hidden. Good stuff. <laughs> I, found, I, found a, I found another it's nothing we've entered I found another error so my apologies to folks I, I built this I only had a couple minutes before this I threw it together and shame on that's shame fine on me. when you build it with other people you know you always do a check at the end to go yep we you know and, and it, frankly it's as you're placing individual tiles so anyway my, my humble apologies uh, I'm, I'm a hot you can mess. take your turn now okay I'm a hot mess today Okay, we're going to sneak. That's my first action. We're going to kind of stick with the plan, which hasn't necessarily been working that great, but we're going to loot. Okay, so I am hidden. I'm going to loot the trove. My goal is to try and find an epic treasure. And a fourth treasure of which I don't think there is. Nope, there's only three. So uh, loot. Third action is a loot. Let's just be clear. Right? There you go. There we go. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. Except, uh, can I use it? Okay, I can't. Here's the funny part. I can't use it unless I find that silly treasure that... Okay, so I'm going to put it in my backpack for now. Uh, it's It was yep. not an epic treasure. But now I got options. If I, I'm going to loot my, my former carcass. And I get nothing. 
Okay. Good. So I'm still sitting at zero points. I might want to leave just so I can try and score some points somewhere. Um, okay, that was me. Uh, you can roll this. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's. Yeah. Let's roll the summoning dice. See what happens. Yeah. Planes and ends. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Okay. So that's my turn to fight now. So, remember these guys? I do. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm hidden. I'm going to move them down by your player board just so yes, that please. you can see everything at once. So I'm going to follow the same. Um, uh, the same recipe, okay. which is target a giant. From hiding with uh, two brown cubes. Okay. Use your targeting token. Oh, I don't think I need anything else. Right. Okay. If I record correctly, Correct. and put two my cubes here, and I'm hidden, so I'm going to roll for tactics. On the the first on the third flip. Okay, so you're not in danger okay. yet. Let's uh, go ahead and throw a, a roll for your damage that automatically hits. Oh yeah, that's a death. He's very dead. He's very dead. You probably got him right in the... I think I pierced his skull all the way through. Yeah, the arrow came out the other way. And that was uh, eight fame. Eight fame. Now I'm trying to hide. Yeah. Nope. You're unhidden, and here's where the beauty lies. Because that dragon flipped, you can't run away. No, I cannot. Which is fine. You are alert, so you can... Uh... Yes, I am very alert. Yeah. So let me think about it. So I have, let's see. So yeah, this just, guy has... Hey, George, and let me make a comment, just for the video's sake. You know, you're not auto-alerted, technically. You have an, a free phase. So let's say you began the turn in that clearing with those monsters, and you, you said, I'm going to sneak, and then you failed the sneak. You're not alert, right? So because right. just F, I, we've been shorthanding it by just leaving this cube here. But Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so... And I'm going to put these in order of attack just for simplicity, right? Yes, yes. So, so I need to have... He has attack of two. Let me... I'm trying to flip him here for a moment. One in the other way, okay. And this has one and two. Hey, Starman, welcome. Right, so maximum attack speed is two for them. What's the length of the giant? Cannot see that. That's 18. For both sides, if I call correctly. Yep, he's got a club. You're the equivalent of, I think... 18, and my bow is uh, 30. Mm -hmm. So I'm first. I don't need more than two cubes to attack first. Uh, uh, correct. And, but I do, I'd do like a third one. But I would, I'd rather have it as a maneuver, yep. to be honest. Yep. So more maneuver to have... That's he has an attack of two. Mm, I don't like that. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice dilemma. I mean, makes me easy to hit. I attack. I'm going to target a giant. Okay. And I'm going to play three maneuvers. And one attack. All right. And that's a total of five cubes, so the alert essentially is not doing many favors because. Hey George, I'm going to yeah. bring these down here just so that it's. A, of course. The video so Definitely. It's a little easier to see. All right. Okay, so the first uh, thing that happens is that the dragon goes first. Right, the two versus your one. Yep. And he tries to hit me. He does. You want to roll the, um, the dice for the monsters? Yes, I love it. More thematic, isn't it? Well, you know, there's always a hope I can kill you off. Just kidding. I know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I did roll a hit. Okay, one damage. So, so my... Yeah, go ahead. 
explain what your logic here is. I can choose my iron helm. Yes. And it, it withstands the heat because it's only one, so I just get a wound. That's correct. That's way so I just wound my red cube here. I have, I have a vision of you sticking your head in the way of its claw rather than your body. <laughs> uh, got some humor. It glanced the blow, essentially. Yeah. Okay. The next attack in order is uh, attack of one. Oh, I didn't think that through, but anyway, it saved. Well, it didn't save my hide, but now I have a chance to miss Giant, which is bad. Yep, you gotta roll. I've gotta roll at least an equals. Yep. And, yeah, I miss. And now I'll roll for the Giant, who has to roll two yes. hits to hit you. Uh, yeah, because you're so fast. <laughs> See, this is this is the problem, right? He hits you, mm. and he hits you pretty hard. He destroys. His no, I've made a mistake there. But anyway, uh, that was a bad play on my part because I should have went uh, with a uh, speed of two to guarantee and uh, guarantee the kill of the giant. So that's what I have to pay for. So now I destroy my leathers. Hey, hey George, did we roll for these guys to flip? I think we might have forgotten to do that. Oh, in the second round, you mean? Yeah. No, we didn't. Yeah, why don't you roll for that, just because it might have changed things a little bit. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Let me do that. Just Bring a couple of dice here. Yep. Roll it now for these guys in the same order. Yeah, so it wouldn't, Giant have, flips. It wouldn't have changed anything. Uh, no, it would have yep. changed something. You would have hit. That's the key. That's why I wanted to do that. So let's... Mm, yeah. Yeah, so you hit him, so roll for damage, because this doesn't count if you would have killed him. So you're rolling for damage, because your one attack is faster than his zero, so you auto-hit. All right. Thank you for that. That saved my hide. Yeah, so you might not... Let's roll for damage. And that's enough. That's one. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. So I'll give you your eight game. Another arrow in the eye. Okay. Now it's the two of us. Now, now you're doing a little dance, a little one-on-one -on -one dance. Uh, there we go. One-on-one, -on -one. right. Okay, let's see. He attacks for two with one damage. So worst case scenario, one, two. I'm going to put three in my attack here. And uh, one on my maneuver. Yep. I'm going to roll for flipping. Let's restore that high die over there. Let me bring another die here. I'm rolling for flip now. No flip. I attack first with a speed of three versus his of two. He's still very fast. I need to hit him. <laughs> Almost. Uh, right, okay. And then he comes back at me on a one, and I get another wound. You get another wound, but your Iron Helm prevents... Your, your Iron Helm, you don't take any... Uh, isn't damaged, so it's kind of protecting your... Again, I'm wounding at uh, one heart. You're a very hard-headed uh, dwarf archer, which maybe thematically makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, next round. Yep. And this, hey, George, Same you know, just so you know... It's worth noting, right now, a two will kill you once your army still has to hit you three times, which, you know, but you can also, you can always choose to wound these cubes, thereby impacting, you know, what your attack might be. Mm. If it's already happened in the round, you could just ditch a cube out of your, you know, out of your speed if you wanted, right? Because you're going first, as an example, right? So, does that make sense? Okay, let, let me think about that. Yeah, you have a point there, so I need to I can save my pink here and just wound the brown. Right. Now, it does reduce your options for next turn, but so what? You're kind of trying to get this over with as soon as possible. Two and three. No, I don't have, I'm not that fast anymore, though. I need that. Yeah. I'm going to stick with my plan. Okay. Where is Where is the brown cube? I got it. There you okay, go. yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so... Rolling for tactics. Yep. Didn't flip. 
same drill again I attack first sorry so hopefully I can hit him ah he hits you again and wounds you again hits me again wounds me again the beauty is is like you don't have to worry about hearts technically because unless he flips right in which case he just wants he but he has to get through your armor first so yep i think you're okay yeah um, i'm okay like next you. round i'm ro i'm rolling again okay this is very thematic because the dragon is flying around and i'm shooting arrows at him and he avoids them because he's in the air and he swoops down and takes right. a little bite out of your face out of your head exactly all right he pierces me with his clothes. No hit. He's going to kill me. So he hits you. And right. Next. And now you're starting. Yeah, now you're getting slower. Because I think you want to keep that in the... I would keep it in that attack, right? And it, Because that's your best chance is to kill him. With your advantage of re-rolling a ranged die, I think... I, you know, well, and now keep in mind, I've died every game I've played of this and, and been recorded. So, yeah. You know. Okay, next one. Let's see what happens. He's just wearing me down. I'm bleeding. He's not turning. I mean, but anyway, if he flips, I'm going to kill him immediately, I think. But he's not flipping. Uh, yeah. you, you need Let's try it once miss. more. No, I'm still missing. Okay. Now, is where, now, now is where it gets into trouble, right? So now you got hit again. And so one of these cubes has to go away. I can remove one of these, but... Yeah, which you could, right? Makes you weaker in your attack, you need, but you have that reroll. Yep. I love these choices. This is fun. I'm having a blast watching you get in trouble. Yeah, I know. I know that. I mean, not. Uh, right. So, uh, again, no, even worse. George, you need me to roll for you. Okay, so he hits. I need, <laughs> I need another. I mean, I'm taking another wound here. Yep. I don't think I have. Yeah, I have to wound a brown cube. Yeah, There's no other way. Cube. And, and I, I will explain this one. If he takes that one out, he can't attack because he needs a red cube to use the art that. If he takes that away, you're dead if you ever don't have any any pinks in your in your healthy box. So for I think this is the last one getting, for me. You're getting slower and slower and slower. All right, roll. Yeah, forward. let's see. Let's see if he flips. No flipping. Why would he? He's I'm going to roll again. <laughs> you need to last again. round, right? Because because now he's a three, and you just lost that speed. One more wound. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this does not look good. Now it flips. Of course. Of course. Okay. Oh, okay. worth noting. Worth noting. He actually, it, it, which is fine. He's faster than you. He's auto hitting you anyway because you only have one might cube being played, and he and you have an armor of two. So at this point, you're so tired and wounded mm, yeah. that he's just every hit he does will hit you. So, okay. But we have the same speed now. Same attack speed. Your weapon length is 30, and his is zero. No, no. So I'm going to roll first. You go first, yep. I need two hits. Ah! <laughs> 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 Almost. I think that's the end, because, so you get, uh, he hits you, right? Yep. Um, he's going to destroy one of your pieces of armor, your choice. Oh, you have a chance. Hey, can I recommend something? Destroy the other one. Okay. So, yeah, that gets destroyed. Yeah, of course. Oh, right, but you also have to lose a cube, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because here's what happens, right? Move that cube over. Cannot attack anyway. Right. You Well, you can with a speed of one, or a speed of zero, right? Yes. But the problem is, is he hits you automatically regardless, which is going to force you to wound a cube, which is either, either you die or your attack gets canceled, right? 
Yeah. So I'm like, dead. Like, yeah, let's actually just play it out, though, just for humor. Right? So sure. this is, you're taking, like, your la- you're trying to line up your last desperate shot. His attack is faster than yours. Right? He hits you, destroys your leather armor. You have to wound a cube. You can't wound this and you're dead, so it cancels your, this cancels your attack completely. And on the next round, he feasts on your carcass. Excellent. Ex- excellent, he says. So that was great. So you you have forty nine <laughs> uh, divided in half is is you have twenty five left because you died. So, um, right, and yep. then that gets converted into two fame point, uh, two LPs by spending twenty. So you're down to five. And we'll call the game at this point because, but so, so yes. you end up with five, five LPs and five fame, you know, over here, my druid never really got going. He's still at zero. Um, in hindsight, I probably from hiding uh, what I, and I don't know why I didn't do this. Uh, the whole point of why I did it, this is actually really dumb was I should have been casting elemental from hiding to try and bring him in to fight those monsters every turn. Um, and then this guy has, you know, two LP and five fame with the two LP. There's a glitch with the thing, but bag. I can't grab it out. So, yeah, I, truthfully, I should have been fight. I should have killed off these monsters. But that was the entire reason why I tr- chose a druid was I was going to um, come here, hide, summon an elemental to go and fight him. And I could have always calmed that spider and sent him away so that the dragon is fighting mano a mano with an elemental. Well, hopefully I'm still hidden in the, in the, you know, in the, somewhere so anyway i literally forgot my own plan uh well played george um thank you same for you scott that was great and congratulations for your design this is i mean i hope many people get to see that because it's unbelievably fun i mean i haven't had that fun in a long while with a board game wow i i I love this i love the thematic nature of this dwarven archer plucking away at these giants and then the, the yep. tiny little dragon, just a little bit faster. That was the big problem. Um, just beat you down. And I've killed all the giants, but the dragon eventually, the juvenile dragon being juvenile and fast, and me being old and slow, yep. was a bang on me. And the end result is, though, you still won the game. Congratulations. Um, and yeah. uh, there we go. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, any, any final comments before I stop the recording? No, that's. Uh, thank you very much for this game. I'm looking forward to more. Right. more. Sounds great. All right. Have a great day, George. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.